Hi, before adding definition to the surface, first of all, we need to create an empty surface. For this purpose, we need to go to the perspective tool. From here, we can see surface. Once we right click on the surface, we can see that create surface. So we will click on create surface. And from here, we can see thin surface, great surface, volume surface, and thin volume surface. During a time, we are going to create a thin surface. Here, we will create the name. For example, we are going to give the name EG existing ground. From here, you can just select the description. If you want to go to select the description, you can create also. So just click on OK. We don't need to do the same thing. We will keep it as a default here. Once we click on the surface here, now we can see that our surface is created successfully. So next, if you're going to adding any points, you can add it easily from the definition. So you will click on this plus button. OK, so click on this plus button. From here, you can see different type of option. So first of all, we have the boundary option. Next, we have the break lines. We can also add break lines and we can also add contours and also we can create surface from the DEM files, drawings object. So we can edit the points. Here is the points group settings. You can see the point file. If you're going to add any point file, you can just add from the point group easily. Here you will see different type of groups. So which points group you want to add, you can easily end from here. So point survey queries and figure survey queries. So you can see it here. But here we have a lot of points. We are not going to create our all surface in this all area. So we need to add surface to this road area. For this purpose, if we go to check the points here, the lines, for example, here we have the BC, FL, EP, and here we can see that we have CLR, center line points. So these specific points we will pick and we will add surface to these points. For this purpose, we need to go to create a separate a point group and we will include the points which is required for us, required that we need to create the surface from this. So for this purpose, we are going to the point group and from here you can see new. So we will just click on new. Here you can see different type of properties. For example, here is the points group name. We are going to create the EG like EG for road. And here you can select the point style group if you want to create. And here you can see the point elevation and description. So if you want to change this, you can also change it from here. Here you can see the point group. Here we have this type of point group. And here you can see raw description matching. And here is the including. So if you want to include the points to the group, you can just select it. If you want to exclude, you can just also select the exclude button. If you want to see the point list, you can also see from here the point list. So we will click on include and next we have different type of option. If you're going to add the points with the number matching, you can just select it. If you want to include with the elevation matching or with the name matching or with draw, raw description with full description matching, you can select one of them. So anyone you can select. So let me select the raw description matching. So we will tick mark this box and here we will add that which kind of points we are going to add to our point group. So first of all, we need to add our okay, CLR. Once you enter CLR, then you need to enter the hashtag. Why we are going to eat this hashtag because some points is CLR1, CLR2, 3, 4, 5. So it will include all the points which is start from the CLR. So next, if you're going to add another any raw description, first you need to enter comma. And then, for example, we have the EP and same as it is hashtag. And next, we have FL, FL, hashtag and comma. Next is BC, okay, hashtag, we already completed one, two, three, four, five, six lines. So for these lines, we have this point. So if you click on apply, next you can see the point list. Here you can see the all points for the EP, CLR, FL, all the points are included. So you can see that FL1, you can see FL2, FL3. So the hashtag benefit is that that it will include all this point so click on ok if you go to the point group we can see different type of point groups so now we have created the ag road so we will include this store empty surface so let's go to the surface from here and click on definition once you click on the definition you will see here the point group okay just click here once you click on the point group then you can just right click 
and add once you click on add you will see the group list so we are going to add our ag road so click on ok and apply so now you can see that your surface is created successfully so this is created only in this area which was required for us and here you can see the boundary is little bit out we will explain in upcoming movies okay so the next thing is that this this contours is crossing this road which we don't need to edit so for this purpose we will add some break lines to our contours we will add as a break line so now we need to go to break lines and click on add so once you click on add you can give the name for example we are giving this clr and next you can see different type of option type standard if you want to change you can just change it and here you have the Bidding factors if you have a very detailed lines you need to select this one but at the time we don't need to change anything or we have so we will just keep it with the default setting so click on ok now it's asking in the command bar that select the object so select the object and now focus on this one it will be okay after adding the break line so click on enter once you click on enter now you can see that the center line here okay and next we are going to add this one two three line and one two three curve back of line we are going to add this one add and next you need to give them any name you can just give the curve lines you can just click okay select this one this one this one or you can do like this this select this or you can do easy just select this select this and right click select similar so once you click on this so we will go to the add break line add and you can give name any okay just click okay now you can see that this lines is added so that's we can easily add or break lines to our surface by the help of this option so now you can see that our surface is look okay next we will check the quality check in the another upcoming video